Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today we're looking at checkout mode in Remote Desktop Manager. At Devolutions, we consider checkout mode a security option. The reason is because it gives you more control over your entries. What the checkout system does is it locks your entries so that only one person can use them at a time. That way, no one else can view them, edit them, or even use them. Then the person who checked it out has to check it back in so that it becomes available to the whole team. The concept is really like using a library card and checking out books from the library. Um, so also with checkout mode, you can look at the logs of who has checked out entries and verify the comments they left to see why they checked out entries. So this is a great way to limit the use of an entry to one person at a time. And also we recommend it in times when you need to perform maintenance. So now that we've briefly showed you what checkout mode's about, let me just show you what it's about um, with automatic mode. So let me share my screen. So let me show you how automatic checkout mode works. Here I have a remote connection, SSH, um, and we are going to open it with um, right here. And you'll see that as soon as I open the session, I'm asked for a comment. I'm just gonna put in weekly maintenance. And this way other people can see what I'm doing if they check the logs. And now that the session is open, we see that it's automatically checked out the entry as well. On the icon right here, there's a little arrow. And if we went to the dashboard, um, we see we, here we could check it back in. So automatic mode, what it does is automatically check out the session when you open the session. I just wanna show you what another user would see in this case. So I've opened RDM as a different user from the same team. And if we go here to the same entry, we see that there's a little red icon on top of the SSH icon. And that means it's checked out. There's a little arrow as well. If I double click on it to try to open it, I get a note that says that this session is currently checked out by one of my team members, David, and it can't be opened. Same thing if I go here and do a right click, we see open session or view password doesn't work. Uh, same thing with properties, I can't access the properties either. So this is a great way that right now the other person can't make any changes while I, the first person is. If I go back here and just close the session, it also checks the entry back in. And then I look here and voila, it is, an, is now accessible for this person to use. Lo uh, so just to recap, uh, automatic mode locks an entry while the session is active and checks it back in automatically when you close the session. We have a couple more options for checkout mode. And so let's dive into them, into the properties to look at how they're set up. We can set up the checkout mode at multiple levels on the root, a folder, or a specific entry. I'm gonna start here at the root and go to properties. I'll just do a right click properties. No matter what level we're at, the option is always in security. And here we have checkout mode. By default at the root, um, the setting is not available, which means that people cannot check out entries, um, that the option isn't available. Then we have automatic, the one I just showed you, manual. This is a popular option because it separates the action of checking out an entry from the action of opening a session. So basically it lets you lock a session without actually using it, um, without launching it. And then you can check it back in as well manually. And we're gonna make a video that goes into the details of that, the nitty gritty. So that's coming in the next couple of days. Um, and there's finally optional. It is what it sounds like. How you check it out, how you use the entry is up to you. Then just below it, we have checkout prompt for comment. If you remember just before, um, when I opened the session, it asked me to put in why I wanted to use the session. Um, so I had it to true, which is the default. If I put it to false, then the users wouldn't be prompted for that comment. 
There's actually one more checkout mode I can show you, but it isn't on the root. It's only on folders or entries. So let me just open the properties of the Boston folder. And here, if we go to security again to see checkout mode, the last one that I want to show you was inherited. So this one will let all the entries in a folder take the checkout mode from the parent folder. So what I'm going to do in this little example is I want all the entries in the Boston folder to use automatic checkout mode. So we're going to set automatic on the folder level. And now I'm going to set all of the entries. I'm just going to do a little shift click here to inherited. So they're going to go and get the checkout mode from the Boston folder but I don't need to go into every entry and do it one by one. That's too much work and I could maybe make a mistake. What I'm going to do is a batch edit. So I'll right click, go edit, batch edit, edit entries, general settings. And then in security, because that's where the checkout mode is, click override security and switch the checkout mode to inherited. So now if I just choose this option here, it will ask me for the, this entry is not the one I was using before. So it asked me for the comment. I put in the comment and then it opens and it's not because I set checkout mode on the entry, but because I set it on the Boston folder and it inherited the information. So there we see that it inherited the information from the Boston folder where we set the automatic. Let me just close this session now. So just before we, I've been entering these comments every time that uh, I've been opening sessions and checking out the entry. And there's a way to go and see what people are writing, the administrators can do. Um, so they just need to go to administration reports, activity logs. So here we see an entry was checked out and we see the comment was weekly maintenance. We can also see uh, who checked it out and at what time and when they checked it back in. So those are the main things we wanted to see. Remember, you can set the checkout mode at the root level on a folder or directly on the entry. There are the main choices that we have just to find it. Don't forget that you go into properties, no matter where you are, and then security. The main options you have are default, which will go up to the root, uh, not available, automatic, manual, inherited, or optional. Um, and as well, you can set if you want the people to be prompted for a comment or not. So that's everything I wanted to show you with checkout mode. Um, I hope that helps. And also, I hope you can take great advantage of this feature. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into our community on our online forums. They're super active. Also, check out our other videos. There's the one specifically about checkout mode with manual because it had a couple more details. As well, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about RDM and our other products or follow us on social media. Thanks a lot for watching.